Right, so we're here at Smith Rock for this sunrise shoot that you wanted. It's really early. Well, it's 5am and I do have a face like a twice used tea bag that's been left on Uncle Grumpy's bumper. So, when is the sun gonna rise? In about an hour. Why did we have to get up so early? Because, and I'm glad you asked that, because this is tip number one. Arrive early. You want to be at your location and at least close to where your first composition is going to be about one whole hour before sunrise because you want to be ready. You don't want to miss that pre dawn glow. I mean, you still need to be there for actual sunrise, but sometimes the best light happens. I would say at least half an hour before the sun pops over the horizon. You get pinks and purples and oh, so gorgeous. So that is my first tip. Arrive early. Don't stay in bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I want to rethink this profession. I, I often ask myself that same question. <laughs> uh, tip number two is for sunrise, you've got to get one of these. You have to have a headlamp because if you are going to show up early, like we are doing today, you're going to need to find your composition. Now, if it's a place that you don't know that well, or maybe you've never been, you're going to need to safely wander around and find subjects to place in front of whatever it is that you're shooting, whether it's a castle, whether it's a mountain, whatever it is. If you've never been there, if you don't have a composition already set that you scoped out before, you're going to need one of these to find that shot safely long before that light pops up over the horizon gives you that golden moment. Your coffee good? Yeah, it's really good. You gotta treat the plunder bus with a bit more respect. Well, it just gave me such a jolt. Yeah. Did you sleep all right? Mm-hmm, I did, did yeah. you? No, I had two hours of sleep. So I followed tip number two and I put that headlamp to good use. I wasn't too worried about rattlesnakes in January, but I did have concerns about falling off a 70 foot cliff edge in the dark. My first shot of the day shows you that pink light that I was talking about, but I really wanted more than that. Would the light improve? Okay, so tip number three is to choose your direction of light. And you might think with sunrise photography that I'm going to be shooting directly into the sun with the sun rising over the horizon, but that's not the case with this shot. And that's not the case with most of the sunrise photography that I do. What I typically go for is side light and you can see it right now on these peaks. So what do I mean by side light? Well, what I mean is the sun is rising up in the east and I'm looking south in this direction. So what that means is as the sun comes up, it hits these peaks and gives it this lovely relief, these lovely shadows that you can see on the edges of these peaks. Whereas if I was shooting directly into the sun, let's just say the sun rose above that, you wouldn't have that effect. It would still be quite beautiful, but it would just blast over the top of the mountain there and all of this would be in shade. So typically what I'm looking for, especially with mountains, is a lovely bit of side light. And also I, I could get face light, which would happen if the impossible happened and the sun rose in the north and it was just straight on, just face on to all of these peaks here. And they would glow nicely, but you wouldn't get that lovely shape and shadow and relief that you can see on those peaks there. So that is tip number three, choose your direction of light. And for me, my preference is usually side light like this. I'll be honest with you though, the downside to showing up so early is that if the light turns out to be an absolute pile of Mumford and Sons, well, you've got a long, boring wait ahead of you, especially if you didn't have time to eat second breakfast like me. I mean, look at me, I I'm wasting away. Okay, tip number four, you're looking for zero low cloud. So this morning I checked the weather apps. The two that I rely on are usually clear outside and windy.com and both of those forecast zero low cloud but I think that data was inaccurate because clearly there's some cloud on the horizon that's blocking the sun from blasting in and lighting up those peaks behind me but typically that's what you want 
ideally you want to have lots of high cloud and lots of medium cloud so that there's something for that sun to light up but you want zero low clouds on that horizon because if there's clouds on the horizon this happens it blocks the sun and you don't get the color you don't get the contrast so that is tip number four look for zero low clouds and that hasn't happened for me this morning which brings me on to tip number five tip number five stick around don't leave too soon the temptation to quit early can be quite strong especially when you're starving hungry like I am right now and I was down at that other shot that other composition that I had and it just didn't feel like the Sun was gonna clear that cloud at all but I thought I'll give it I'll give it an hour might be like an hour and 15 minutes since I last tried to take that shot down in the ridge there and I've come up to this higher viewpoint just so that I can see what's going on in the east and I can see that that cloud was gonna pop up and now it has and so now I've got this lovely light well it wasn't the best sunrise I've ever seen but that light was still lovely and I'm glad that I stuck to tip number five and ignored the growling noises coming from my stomach the cool thing about the winter time is that the Sun stays fairly low in the sky all through the winter so even an hour or maybe two hours after the Sun has risen you're still gonna get a nice uh, light effect because the Sun is so very low in the sky so this is let me just check official sunrise was an hour ago so the Sun has been up fully for an hour and still it looks really nice it's got that lovely warm side light that's low in the sky it's exactly what I was hoping for and I've got these gorgeous reflections in that river bend there so that is tip number five stick around don't quit too soon no matter how much your stomach is grumbling so that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and I guess we've earned a hot breakfast and some coffee now yeah. Yeah? and then it's back on the road yeah yeah sounds good Vancouver Island next no uh, we'll have to find somewhere else as long as you're paying for fuel Amazing sunrise, eh? It's yeah, nice now, actually. Yeah, it's getting hot, actually. Oh, Adam, yeah. you leave the generator on. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I'm pretty sure you didn't have a fire on this morning, Nick. Uh, no. It's quite strange. You guys have been drinking already? What's that? Weird. Red Bull? Turn it off? Yeah, let's turn that generator off. Do one of you guys actually even drink Red Bull? Well, that's disgusting. Who drinks no. that crap? What is it? I feel like somebody's bent. Something's a bit weird right now. Something's not right here, guys. Whose who shoes are those? Are they your shoes? Gavin? No. Oh, that's not something's up. How beautiful is this? I'm excited about the possibilities. Wow, look at that. And I've got this sexy English model in my frame. Oh, that's fantastic. God, Gavin. Anyway, as I was saying, oh, for sakes, Greg. God damn it. Adam, come on, don't be like that. Your flap's showing. So you may be able to sense the frantic nature of this lesson that we are attempting to give you with this whole trip was sprung on us by Nick. Everything seems to be springing on us, but my God, this light is fantastic. Well, it's 6 a.m. I've had three hours of sleep and I do have a face like a neglected avocado, but I'm still super excited to get this beautiful, <laughs> you laughing? <laughs> this beautiful sunrise shot. And I, I scoped this, this composition out. Are you still laughing? <laughs> I have this uh, leading line, this really prominent leading line going directly into the corner because that's where it feels nice. And I'm doing a two shot focus stack this time. It's a really beautiful shot. It's a very similar composition to last night, but it looks completely different because of the different positions. No, I, I'm sure he's gonna be fine. Have you got your specs? Do you need your specs? No, that's just for reading. All oh, right. Shit, that guy's getting a bit close, isn't he? Oh, Look at that turtle. He's, he's passing he's us. He's passing us, yeah. 